Hey friends, I know it's been a minute. Um, I still want to be making videos. Life just got the best of me the past couple weeks. I've watched a movie recently um, that I really wanted to review real quick because um, I thought it was worth talking about and suggesting to you guys. Uh, so, and that movie is called Lady World. And sorry about the glare there. And this movie, I, I believe, came out in 2018. Uh, this is from MVD, is where you can get this. I think you can get it on their website. Um, it's You can find it for a pretty inexpensive price. I think you can get it on Amazon as well. It's about 15 bucks. But um, I remember uh, it, it was either Cool Dude or somebody else reviewing this film. And I was like, ah, that was one that I kind of, you know, put in my memory bank. It was like, I'm going to have to check that one out, you know, uh, sometime. So I finally grabbed it and checked it out and made an impression on me. And, and this is a very artistic flick. Um, it's definitely not for everybody. I will put that out there. It's a slow moving flick. It is, uh, uh, it, it is a horror film. It's also more of a you know, thriller slash horror film. Um, but it's really more about the breakdown of the human psyche when something traumatic happens. And uh, basically, to, to just get into it real quick, this movie, uh, the kind of the setup for the film is it starts right off the bat with there's been a big earthquake. I believe they're in California. Uh, you think it's an earthquake, they don't really tell you, but, um, and the house that these girls were in, that we, we assume they ha were having a birthday party or something like that the night before, has kind of sunken down in the ground. It's It's been kind of covered in dirt, so they can't get out. They're trapped inside the house. Uh, there's a group of girls there, like, you know, older teenage girls. Um, and it, I would guess that they're still in high school, but maybe seniors in high school, something like that. Uh, and they are all trapped in this house together. Well, um, the movie kind of follows these characters as they slowly kind of descend into madness. And you know, some of them handle things better than others, obviously. And uh, there's one girl who's our, her main protagonist who, you know, is uh, handling things the right way, trying to figure out how to get them out, things like that. Then uh, there are a group of other girls who almost, they, they really go Lord of the Flies is what it is. They kind of form a group uh, and they get all crazy. They put on makeup like war paint and just go crazy basically. So, but you know, this movie is a metaphor, I think for a lot of things. And I think different people would take different things out of it. One thing that I thought was very interesting about the film is when they all kind of wake up the next day and, and you start to get to know the characters, they all act like they, they don't know each other. And obviously they were invited to this birthday party by this girl and maybe some of them, don't know each other because definitely we know two of them don't know each other because they say that but the rest of them do but they still act like they're not friends they don't have a relationship and i that really struck me right off the bat as a commentary on social media and things like that i mean we may assume we have a lot of friends and things but you know at the end of the day are they really our friends how much do we really know them you know are we really close with them and and that's not me knocking social media at all because i i'm a huge fan of instagram and the community that i've I'm a part of there because I have made a lot of friends on Instagram, but I do think it's just kind of in society in general talking about where we're at as a society as far as building relationships and friendships and, and things like that and how busy we are, you know, and, and then, you know, how quickly we will turn. And, and then it also shows cruelty and, and how some people are just cruel just to be cruel. And there's definitely one girl in here uh, played by, uh, I think her name's, let me see. Um, I know her last name's Basso, but she's been in a lot of other things too. Yeah, Annalise Basso. Uh, you might recognize her from some other things also. It's not a real violent movie or anything like that. Um, there are some things that are implied or might get violent. And uh, there are some other underlying things going on. But um, I highly recommend this flick. And if you watch it, definitely let me know what you think. Uh, it has... A really cool ending I thought that it went the direction that it should and um, you can kind of see the back there let you guys check it out but some of the the blurbs there say like terrifying haunting um, I agree with all those things a savage surreal and superbly performed creation and it says eight eight teenage girls that's how many become trapped in an endless birthday party after a massive ecological event the girls sanity and, and psyches dissolve as they run out of food and water Eventually, they regress to their baser instincts. 
uh, exploiting each other's fears and insecurities, which they definitely do that. So, but yeah, just wanted to talk about this flick real quick uh, for horror fans. I think you'd like it again. It's more of an artistic, uh, slower burn. Um, the movie's called Lady World and they, they show you, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, but not much. Um, but there's a painting in the film of the back of a girl, which I thought was really interesting. And uh, the back is, it's black and white, but the back is supposed to represent a lot of like, you know, boils and pus and like cuts and things like that. And the front of the lady of the painting is, is beautiful. So it's that whole, you know, your front and what it looks like. And then what, what are you really all about? You're like what's behind you, you know? So I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, that they use that and I, I thought it was just an interesting idea so anyway uh, if you've seen this let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't um, hopefully this intrigues you to check it out and give it a chance because I thought it was pretty cool anyway uh, got some more videos coming your way I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you cats later